I went to examine this horse for something wrong inside its mouth. And there was nothing inside the mouth that was a problem. Notice the tongue, the excessive saliva coming out, and the head sh shaking. In addition, all this grain that you see on the floor, he had spilled as the grain had been delivered in a bucket. And now he's just trying to clean up what was spilled on the ground. One of the most striking features, if those two weren't big enough, where it was his inability to chew hay. Now we usually associate quitting, which is balling up of hay in a big soggy wet ball and letting it fall on the ground. And you can see one quid on the ground next to the cement border of the stall. We usually associate this with bad teeth. Something's wrong there, a broken tooth, something sharp, the tongue can't move, and the horse usually spits it out. We also assume that the horse has a an appetite because the horse wants to keep eating and so it's usually an easy fix and that's what I had come here to to help this horse with. This horse was on a routine uh, dental care and there was nothing inside the horse's mouth that would indicate a problem but this horse continued to chew hay as you're seeing here balling it up rolling it around adding more and more hay into its mouth and then and eventually spitting it out. The veterinarian came to do diagnosis on this horse and came up with a um, generalized diagnosis of a neurological problem as the horse is showing some other neurological signs. They were undefined and undiagnosed and about two weeks later this horse was euthanized because nothing improved at all. In fact he started to degenerate and was unable to get up. So was this an encephalitis, some sort of neuropathy? Uh, it was not rabies. So we don't know what it was, and unfortunately I'm not their veterinarian, so I didn't pursue it. But I just want to show you quitting that's associated with neurological disease.